this is insane. Model X is packed. We got a generator here. We got the ice cold cooler here. We have firewood back there. The wheel wells are insanely deep. There's so much stuff under here. Even here behind the second row, since there's space is all full of water. And in the front, there's a tent, sleeping bag, everything there. I think it's so insane how much space there is compared to the Model Y. The front is so much bigger. There's so much more space. I didn't think we could fit anything in here. We were able to fit everything in here, which is insane. Thanks for 10 ways for sponsoring this video. Based in Europe, Tenways has been around for over two years, bringing the green life to an urban world. Made for people who are commuting to work or just want to go out on morning or evening bike rides, the new Tenways Seago 600 Pros got you covered. For me, since I don't have a bike rack in the Model X, I was happy to know the Seago 600 Pro fits in the trunk. And it's super easy to remove and reinstall the front wheel. I love how it's super lightweight and durable, made with aerospace aluminum, and only weighs about 42 pounds or 18 kilograms, making moving in and out of tight spaces easier. Built with a carbon belt drive, it avoids any rust, grease, and bike chains, making it super hassle-free. With a built-in OLED display that provides information like the speed, you can set a password on the bike, customize settings, turn on the integrated dual LED floodlight, as well as turn on a cool feature called walking mode, where you can walk with the bike and the motors help move the bike for you on any surface. You can also download the 10 Ways app on your phone and connect it directly to your bike to see stats like battery health, as well as range and how long your trip was. I honestly always hated riding my bike when it's dark due to safety concerns. However, with the included rear light, the front bike light, as well as my Lumos helmet and integrated turn signals, I won't have any problems being seen. With a top speed of 20 miles per hour, it makes climbing up steep hills easy. And with its puncture-proof tires, I can handle the urban streets as well as dirt roads with ease. I also don't need to worry about charging the bike every day as it holds up to 53 miles on a single charge. And if I do charge it, it's easy to remove with the included safety key and charge. And when you're done, that bad boy's waterproof, so simply wash the bike off and you're good to go. If you're interested in not taking your Tesla on a quick trip, try the Tenways Seago 600 Pro instead. I'll make sure you link it in the description below. So first time in the Tesla Model X, we're doing a road trip to Mammoth Lake. Right now, 99%, it was giving me 316 miles, which isn't too bad, considering I have the larger 22 inch tires and wheels. But I love the space in the X, it's so much more roomier and you can fit so much more stuff. I mean, everyone's so comfortable over here. It'll be a fun trip, I'm excited. It's gonna be thunderstorms there apparently during certain times. Once we get to Mammoth, we're gonna charge at the Mammoth Tesla Supercharger to like 100%. Made it to Njokern. This is the first time I'm supercharging Stormbreaker. So we'll see what happens. Overall, great trip. No one's here at the supercharger. There's the Rivian chargers over there as well. We're gonna get the dogs out, go to the bathroom, and make our way to our next stop. to Convict Lake, check-in time is at 2 p.m. We got some food, we charged up the Tesla to 100%, so we're here at the campsite with 96%, so hopefully that lasts us all night because we're gonna try to keep the Tesla on for some heat. Right now it is raining a little bit, but it's really nice. Let the dogs hang out, swim, and do their thing.
So we're camping and then there's deer on the campsite. Now I know why they said there's bears here. I'm right here and there's a deer like a minute away from us. Bathrooms are not bad. Normal bathrooms, not a hole in the wall. We are in site 72. There is a way to clean yourself off if you need to. There's an open field behind you. We got the tent set up. We're gonna move the car so we could connect it to the tent as well. Wasn't too difficult to set up. We just didn't know what to do because it's our first time setting it up. Right now it's raining. So we gotta deal with that too. I don't know if you've seen my video where I went camping in the Model Y. The Model Y is easy, it was a pop-up tent. It has a screen room and with the Model Y air mattress that perfectly fits in the trunk, you have so much space to relax and chill in the Model Y. It fits super securely and allows you to keep your trunk open when you're camping. However, if you have something bigger like the Tesla Model X and want a tent that's bigger with more space and a screen room, the Napier SUV sports tent is the tent for camping. Inside the tent is actually a good size. Very tall. I'm gonna go ahead and blow up the air mattress now with my Blue Eddy generator. My Blue Eddy generator is awesome. This is 2000 watts, has wireless charging on top. It can definitely inflate an air bed, charge all your devices, charge your laptops, everything if you're going, ever going away. I even have it equipped with the solar panel that I got from Iceco and it helps charge it back up. So I'm gonna go ahead and inflate the air bed real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna turn on the AC I put on, all touch sensitive, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start this. So we'll go ahead and come back. This side's super secure. Like this ain't going anywhere. And it's because there is something on this side. They have straps where you could strap it on. There's tons of mosquitoes here, by the way. You see all these? Oh my God. You could actually strap it onto your hood. I was like, oh, I could just strap it onto here. So I strapped it onto here. It does make your doors effectively useless though. So I only did it on one side. There is a small gap here, but they have tons of extra. See, there's another plastic piece here where you can kind of lay it on. And what's cool, I'll show you inside, is you can actually close it when it's super cold out. It's okay. This is supposed to go. Screen room. This is a game changer here. But it's nice because especially if it rains, we could put our stuff here. So it stays dry and it's safe. It's like a second area for the dogs. Once you get into the main area, this is a queen size bed. It has this little overhang thing where you can attach flashlights or lights. I'm six foot three and plenty of space. So this is the game changer here. It attaches to your car. And then if it's too cold or if there's too much stuff and you just wanna make sure it's safer, you can actually close up this entire portion. For us, we're gonna have camp mode on. We have the ice cold cooler going because we have some raw food for Simba. This is our heated blanket and we're gonna have our blankets here. So it's raining again. We got the tent set up finally on the Tesla. It attaches to the wheel well, so very easy. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how people do it, record and like do all this stuff, just so stressful. Simba peed in our bed, so that was fun. But it was because it was raining, so it wasn't his fault. I wanna start the fire now. How soon is it to start a fire? Overall, the tent's awesome. The Blue Eddy generator is so cool. I'm able to charge my laptop, all that stuff. Really useful if we were staying longer than a day. I wanna get our camping chairs out so we could sit by the fire. The dogs are just eating plants like deer. I saw this thing in REI, so I, I wanna try the pyramid technique where you do bigger logs, medium logs, smaller logs, and killing on top, and it goes down. But it looks like this. I don't know if I did it correctly or not. But I also have a fire starter I'm gonna add to. I know I'm cheating, but I have some fire starter. Looks like granola. I'm gonna place them in between the wood as well. Hopefully it doesn't rain anymore. It doesn't look like it, but man, these clouds came out of nowhere. Holy, so I wanted the true camping experience where Mammoth Lakes, they said scatter thunderstorms, but it's raining, raining off and on, and it's been like this for like two, three hours now. Luckily we have the car, we have to, we can turn the heater on, no problem. Get out of here, Simba, you little pee master. It's insane. Charging up the iPhones on the wireless charger. And then I think we're gonna actually use the dog dryer to dry some of the pee on here since it's so wet. It even powers a dog dryer. I did it. I made the fire. With the wet wood? With the wet wood. The, the kindling surprisingly uh, helps out a lot. 
and then you use the fire starter under it and then you just let it do it. So hopefully it burns down. Because it doesn't seem like it's burning down right now. According to REI, I said it should burn down. Yeah. Yeah. It is going. I highly recommend the pyramid method. They said you don't have to maintain it and it lasts for hours because it slowly goes down. As a Korean, we cannot have a camping trip without some ramen. So we're gonna see if we heat that up. The generator is very loud and annoying, but they can do it because it's only six o'clock. I don't even know how to make ramen in this thing. Whenever I make ramen, I've been making ramen since I was a kid. Obi, watch out! I like to put the basin first, then I put the veggies, and then I put an egg so the egg kind of marinates in the base. Gives it a little bit more flavor. I think it's insane how this boils so fast. Look at it steaming already. We also got some wontons and some fish balls, so we're gonna split this up. Oh, oh, whoa. Shiza. All right, so I'm gonna have to break this in half, I'm assuming. We'll let that come to a boil first. Oh, I, I went past the max line, that's why. That's my bad. Oh, it's boiling. Oh, it looks good. Oh, yeah. You guys see that? It looks so good. Chopsticks. Now, I'm not a lumberjack. I'm not uh, the wilderness man, Bear Grylls. Just the average Joe living in Irvine, going camping once every two years. But this looks buzzing. Make sure you do not fill this past the fill line. Word of advice if you ever use a jet boil, because it's overflowing. That's done. Ah, hot! Don't touch the bottom part there. So it looks good. Instant ramen, fish balls. There's wontons under there. What I love about the Napier tent connecting to the SUV with the Model X is you have a ton of stuff in your car. You don't have to go back and forth bringing stuff in and out. It's just all there. So you can open the trunk and attach it and just put stuff back and forth. And then you can even turn the heater on if you wanted to, if you have an EV car. Man, Simba. I thought we lost him. No, I knew we, yeah. Well, the thing is, it's a big circle, so. I was worried it was gonna go up the hill. Yeah. I think we know that, but then this was camping. We didn't know that. So to end the night, just a little midnight tea time. Got some TWG tea. This is really good tea from Singapore. We are going to Singapore. My wife is actually half Singaporean, so her cousin is getting married at the Four Seasons in Singapore. I'm gonna go ahead and boil this bad boy right up. Probably add another wood to the fire. I don't know, when do you add more wood? <laughs> wood. Let's go boil this bad boy. This is one cup apparently. So I'm just gonna fill this up with one cup. And put that on there. Finest teas of the world. It's a nice little loose leaf back there, if you see that. It might rain again, apparently. We're checking the weather right now. And 
7 p.m., 8 p.m., it might rain again. Overall, it's been fun. Very stressful in the beginning. Again, I, I recommend two nights for sure. Simba ran away. That was an intense experience. Yeah, he saw a bird apparently, so he ran like crazy down the, the trail, and then he was about to jump into the river, like in the super deep side. So that was scary. But the tea is done. Ooh. It's, it's steeping. I don't know if you guys can see, you guys can't see it, but you really smell that chamomile. That chamomile smells good. And let me just put the cover back on. But yeah, it's, I think it's around, what, what time is it, like 7? It's uh, 6 7 almost, 6.45. We're just checking out. Going for out. a quick walk. Letting the dogs go poop. Man, the Tesla looks beautiful. I've been getting so many compliments on it. Sheesh. Sheesh. I'm so gassy. It's so pretty. It's just so majestic. It's a deer. Oh, Peanut sees finally. He finally sees the deer. Well, that's a female. Fire. Super shocked about this place. Very nice. I think the biggest thing I'm shocked about is making the fire on my own. Last time we went to Pismo, because we could do camping, family camping, I couldn't make the fire, so we had to use the, was that, propane gas thing. But this time, pyramid method, and the fire starters works like a charm. So we literally went for a walk, came back, brushed our teeth, and it suddenly started raining like a downpour, it's insane. But it's pretty cozy up in here. We got the light here. What really makes it awesome though is the fact that we have the Tesla. So if we had a mattress, we could sleep here if we wanted to and then, or sleep here. But I can really feel the heat coming from that bonfire we got over there. I think we're just gonna call it a night. Got our bed set up. I could actually feel the heat from the Model X, which is super cool. We're gonna keep camp mode on. I'll let you guys know the percentage of what the Tesla is at and see how much battery I lose in a day. Because that's a super important thing. How much battery do you lose with camp mode on? Hopefully you can hear me because it's raining so much. It is so toasty and nice. Let's check how much battery we have left first. Right now we're at 91%. We're gonna go ahead and go to climate. We have camp mode on. Camp mode enabled. Car will stay on until battery reaches 20%. Sentry mode, security arm, and walkway door lock will be disabled. We're gonna go ahead and lock the doors. But it's cool because we're close to so many superchargers nearby. Fire's still going in the rain. Got the falcon wing doors. It'd be nice to sleep under this, so. But look at that view. Like we could have one person sleeping here, one person sleeping there, and it's nice. We also have the ice cool cooler, so that might drain some more battery, FYI. We have camp mode on, and I didn't know that that appears when you're in camp mode. You got a nice little uh, movie of a campfire with a tent. Did you guys notice that? I never knew that happened. That's super cool. Got the heated blanket going, charging the phones. Still at 96%. We got this blanket from one of our friends. Super clutch. We didn't think we would use it, but we already use it. Got my long socks on. Dogs are sleeping and pooped. My sleeping bag apparently still smells like urine, so that's gonna be fun. But yeah, I think that's it for tonight. We're gonna call it a night. Hopefully the weather's a little bit better tomorrow and it's not raining, because it's still raining right now. All right, so we're gonna see how much battery we have left. I might actually increase the temperature. It's 5 a.m., slept throughout the night. We woke up on and off all the time because we thought there was a bear, but it might have been deer. We had this open the whole time. So there was some hot air coming in, which was really nice. With the generator, it stayed on. 59% battery, so it's been on for a while. We had the heated blankets on, so it's super warm. But let's check on the Tesla. We're still in camp mode here. So camp mode has been on the whole time. It's been at 76, 77 degrees. We are at 74%. So we started at 91% and we're at 74%. And then right now it is 5 a.m. The less is a good amount of time. Got the fire going. The view is amazing. 
All right. So for coffee, I got some Trader Joe's instant coffee. I don't know how much to put in, so it's pretty chilly. Not gonna lie. And for breakfast, we got some Mountain House granola with blueberries. What a night. The wind was really strong. This was the most comfortable camping experience ever with the tent attached to the car and also the Blue Eddy generator. I was able to power everything we needed, no problem. It's like the coffee is almost done. Oh yeah. Mmm, that's good coffee. It's boiling good. I'm curious to see what this granola looks like. I'm gonna open it up. It looks good. So it's just granola and it's freeze dried. So all I'm gonna do is add half a cup of cold water. Oops, well, I'm using warm water then. Why can't we use warm water? Oh, and then it becomes oatmeal, huh? Done. Oh yeah, I for sure made it like oatmeal. Look at that, looks delicious. Mmm, tastes delicious. So got breakfast, got coffee. Now we're gonna go ahead and take everything apart. Ice Coast solar panels. It did power it, but it wasn't strong enough. Blue Eddy does sell their own, but still a great alternative if you need to charge up in a jiffy. Solid materials, wireless charging on the top, DC output, 12 volt cigarette outlet. Look at all this stuff. USB, USB, tons of AC outputs. After a whole night of using it for the entire night, the heated blanket, air mattress, inflating and deflating, I'm at 58%. Overall, super awesome. Great to have on any road trip. I completely forgot to mention that you can also bring your ice cold cooler and the generator anywhere and power the cooler either with the cigarette outlet or the AC outlet with the generator so you can have everything you need. As you guys know, I take my Go20 ice cold cooler everywhere. I just went to Arizona and with that Arizona heat, the ice cold Go20 was a game changer to make sure the dog's raw food, yogurt and broccoli stayed fresh and cold. And I've had it for over a year with zero issues and I highly recommend it. It perfectly fits in the trunk of the Model Y as well as the Model X. However, the biggest game changer for me is bringing this on road trips because now I don't need to worry about ice. It has two compartments, one for a freezer and one for a fridge, or you can have the entire area, a giant fridge to keep everything super cool. Anyways guys, just had the coffee. We're ready to pack up, ready to go home. Hope that video helped you guys. But man, this has opened up a whole new world of possibilities. I never realized how cool it was to attach a tent to your car because you have way more space. But thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time.